so we're about to leave Hawaii right now. It's kind of sad. It's so nice here. About to head back to Portland. I'm debating if I want to film this full thing and make it a process or if I just want to like, you know, get there. And I think I'm just going to get there. Good morning. What's going on, guys? It is 6.30 in the morning, I'm about to go to the gym and I'm about to do like a small technical session inside like a squash or racquetball court right now. For breakfast, I'm just doing like one piece of wheat toast with a little bit of butter on it. And <laughs> That's not good. And I also had a banana, <laughs> so that was my breakfast. It's another beautiful and 45 degree day in Portland, Oregon. Love it. So 45 minute session. Really good. I'm gonna work out and I'll see you at home. Gucci gang, 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 that is the absolute worst song ever, but I'm mad at myself about how much I like that song. God. Setting up the camera takes so much effort. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is probably like a five to 10 minute deep 
foam rolling massage on my quads, glutes, hip flexors, my problem areas as always. Then I'm gonna do a 30 minute total body deep stretch yoga for runners and hit athletes. And this is from Millionaire Hoy, who is hilarious. I hate, my thing with yoga is I hate it when people are like, okay, place your feet on the earth. Now breathe in the positive energy. It like bugs me how like hippie people are when they do yoga. Check out Millionaire Hoy, he is awesome. So let's do it. So there we go, that was 10 minutes of foam rolling and 30 minutes of yoga. I love Millionaire Hoy, he's, he's funny, I like, I like that yoga a lot. So literally like a question I've been getting asked so much is just, Matt, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated to do these yoga sessions, to go weightlifting every day, to go train, to do all this stuff? And I, I hate that like you think that you need motivation to do this, because I've never viewed it as motivation. Yeah, motivation helps determine how intense the sessions are, but it doesn't take motivation for me to go out and do it. I like to explain it really using the metaphor of brushing my teeth. So when you wake up, you don't say like, oh man, you know, I need some motivation before I brush my teeth. You just do it every single day. It's a habit. It's something you've done every single day for your entire life. So you do it every morning and every night because it's something you have to do. And you don't like doing it. It's not fun but you do it anyway because you know that brushing your teeth every day is gonna to lead to healthier teeth. No, you're not gonna have gum disease, you don't get cavities, it's gonna be good for you. And I view training, weightlifting, yoga the exact same way. And it's even better because I really do think that those are fun. I think they're really fun to do. So it doesn't take motivation, I just wake up and I'm like, okay, here's my day, this is what I do. I brush my teeth and then I go and train and then I go and weightlift and then I go and do my yoga or whatever I wanna do during that day. So doing this requires no motivation. I don't need motivation to do anything and you shouldn't need any motivation. I really don't believe that and I hate it when people are like, oh, how do you stay motivated? I, I do this every day because this is what I do. This is my habit. This is the something I do every single day. That was just something that was on my mind and something I wanna talk about just because I've gotten like a recent flooding of those questions lately. Okay. So so for breakfast, surprise, surprise, I'm making egg scramble with spinach and fruit on the side and a fruit smoothie. Pretty much what I do every single morning. Strawberries, cherries, blueberries, protein, more protein, spinach, and a whole bunch of almond milk. And one more cherry. There we go. Spinach, egg, 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 egg. But Matt, you're gonna die from all the cholesterol in the egg. The cholesterol in eggs has not been found to be linked to heart disease, heart failure, all that bad cholesterol that you hear about a lot. Bada boom, bada bang, bada bum, bada ba, bada boo. So there's breakfast. That's a really big breakfast. I've, lately what I've been doing is having like a small pre-workout meal like you saw with toast and bread, having a big post-workout meal and then maybe a snack midday, like an apple or something like light. And then once I get to dinner, I have another big meal. So I've really only just been doing two big meals and two snacks. And I'm doing that meal plan just because in terms of weight, I'm really happy with where I am. Maybe I could gain five pounds. I'm 165 to 170 pounds, depending on the day. So that's good for me. But anyway, here comes the very boring part of my day. I do five hours of just like editing, answering emails, all that stuff. So I'll see you in five hours when I probably eat dinner. So for dinner we got chicken and bell peppers with like a peanut sauce. We have a nice green salad with balsamic vinaigrette. And then we have a mix of white and brown rice because we're running low on white and brown rice. We just combined them. Okay, so now that I'm back in Portland, I can finally relax. Just kidding, I'm in San Diego with Mimi now. So I'll be in San Diego for the next two or three weeks. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you. I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Mimi, anything to add? Like this video and subscribe and turn your notification bell on and then go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.